Guys and good morning. Do you love my beautiful morning hair? It's Monday morning. I have been scrubbing bathrooms all morning. Lucky me. First, we have to have the coffee coffee. That's how you get through life having teenagers. It is. Okay. So this video is just going to be random, hey, getting to know you, getting to know me, my peeps. If you like what you see, break the like button, subscribe to me, share me, comment below what a goof I am. It's all good. I won't be mad. Okay, so I've been cleaning my bathrooms. I know, it's so exciting. I want to hear this chick talk about cleaning bathrooms. No, really though. Whoever invented scented bleach, I love you. I can clean my bathrooms and I can breathe and not get high. Okay, look at this. Thank you, Clorox. Thank you. They have other scents. I just happened to grab that. And then there's this, um, it's also by the Clorox company. Oh. Can you smell it, my peeps? Everybody just smell it with me. My aquarium is driving me crazy. The Hubbers never keeps it filled with water and it drives me nuts. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Am I the only one that that's like... <sighs> okay. So anyway, I have not had the chance yet to watch the mid-season premiere of The Walking Dead. I don't have cable because we po folks up in Northern Kentucky up in here. And um, my gracious sister, thank you, has allowed me that I get to watch it um, on my laptop through her Dish Network. She gave me her password. Uh, I'm excited. I have been watching The Walking Dead like from the very beginning. Honestly, before I even knew what it was, um, back in the day of renting DVDs at the Redbox machine, um, I'm, a, I'm like a die-hard horror movie. Ooh, Becky, itchy, scratchy. Okay, so I'm a die-hard horror movie fanatic. Okay, the scarier the better. I'm not really big on the gore or the violence. Um, but, like, the Annabelle movies, shockingly enough, scared the deepest out of me. I thought they were going to be really lame. Very impressive, Annabelle creator people. Um, so, anywho, Walking Dead's not really so much scary. I mean, I guess it can be. It can have some scary parts. Some of the zombies can be pretty horrifying. Pretty good special effects and graphics. Um... I think it's more scary the whole reality of living in like a world and you know like zombie world and society is just gone and just the whole living that way and surviving that way and, the, and then the other humans in the world are a little bit cray cray a couple fries short of a happy meal I'm probably a couple fries short of a happy meal too um so went to this red box Told my oldest daughter, the Nader, to just, let's pick a scary movie. So we picked this thing. It looks really cool. It's The Walking Dead. We get home. We're like, wait, this isn't a movie. This is a series. And from that day on, I have been watching it. Um, I can honestly say uh, it's kind of, I'm kind of eh with the whole where it's going, the whole process of, um, well, Carl was bitten, and da 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 da, and um, I feel like it's losing its flavor a little. The whole show in general, it's almost like they're running out of storylines. The whole tournament is saying they could have totally played that out longer. To other Walking Dead fans, please don't hate me. This is just my honest opinion. Some people may agree, some people may not. We're all free to our own opinions. Um, I still love the show, though. The actors are phenomenal. They could not have picked a better cast. Um, 
So with that said, I will, now that I have cleaned the bathrooms, which was on my list of things to do today, just not first thing in the morning, but I'm dealing with hormones and teenagers and, um, yeah, so anyway, uh, they're just disgusting, <laughs> okay? Teenagers, you are so gross. Why are you so gross? Was I that gross when I was a teenager? I don't think so. I'm really digging this color of my hair. I just, it's raspberry something. I don't even know. I'd have to go look in the bottle. But I went to Sally's, my local Sally's Beauty. I cannot afford to have my hair always professionally done. I do it every once in a while when I can. At least try to keep up on it. I just had a lot of my hair cut off because um, I just... I never thought I'd cut my hair because I was like, oh my God, if I do, I'll regret it. But I didn't go super short, so it's just a pain to take care of. I have super thick hair, but let me not get off track here. Um, so anyway, um, I, uh, what the heck was I saying? I had a brain spasm there for a moment. Oh, so I was talking about the color of my hair and The Walking Dead and okay, yeah. Um... I just need to get the rest of it to match. My hair's got like multiple colors. Multiple. Multiple. I just made a word. Let's have a dictionary of the Kels Master, shall we, my peeps? My friends. My friends. Um, so, oh, and the, uh, wait, wait. Okay. Mm. Coffee, coffee. Mmm. And it's blueberry flavored. I've been on this. I have a friend. And I've been on this blueberry coffee kick. A nose itch. Um, it's hard to find. At one point, Dunkin' Donuts made like a blueberry muffin flavor. I guess it was discontinued from what I've read online around 2015. I might be wrong. I could be right. It's got to be one or the other. I'm either wrong or I'm right. But Dunkin' Donuts. Why did you stop making this stuff? Now you can go to the actual Dunkin' Donuts and order the coffee flavor, but you can't buy it. You know how you can buy like the take home, do it yourself from the coffee maker, the whole nine yards. They, at one point you could purchase it. I've even looked on eBay. I've looked on Amazon. Um, I've gone to like three or four of the actual Dunkin' Donuts stores in the Northern Kentucky, Cincinnati area. No luck whatsoever. But anyway, so like I said, this kind of is an introduction. So I'm the Kels Master. I have four kids. I am a native of Cincinnati, Ohio. I currently reside in the Northern Kentucky area. That's my little boy behind me when he was a little bitty whittle thing as a newborn. He's a Navy brat. So I had him dressed like a little sailor. Um... So it's kind of an introductory, get to know you, get to know me. Um, I just decided um, I needed something to kind of do during the day besides cleaning and doing the whole mom thing. I have a bunch of injuries from car wrecks. Um, in summer of 2015, I was hit by a drunk driver. And then a year later in November... I was hit by a person who ran a red light, and so I had all these injuries on top of already having scoliosis pretty much my whole life. I was about six when I first kind of, well, my family, my dad, who raised me, kind of started to know I had this thing going on. Um, so I already had these injuries from this wreck in July of 2015. And I'm, you know, doing the whole chiropractor thing and uh, physical therapy and whatnot. And I am, like, one of these people who will not take drugs at all whatsoever. It, I mean, Advil, maybe some antibiotics, uh, you know, vitamins. Um, the only time I'll take a prescription drug is if you know I'm, like, in excruciating pain even after I had my kids, I would only take, like, really strong ibuprofen. I, that's just, I just don't, that's not my thing. Um, I just don't roll that way. So, anywho, um, 
Again, what the heck was I talking about? Man, I need more of this coffee coffee. Mm. Yeah, so I decided to just start this YouTube channel. Um, Graver Girl, she's been a really big influence to me. She's just really funny and silly and goofy and reminds me a lot of myself. If she didn't live all the way in Texas and I didn't live all the way in Kentucky... I think we can have some serious, like, fun times. Like, we have so much in common. Um, we both are diehard Halloween people into the paranormal. I am, like, this huge Ghost Adventures fan. I live a few minutes from Bobby Mackey's Music World. I can only video so much, and then my cell phone will stop me. Okay, good to know. Apparently, my phone's even telling me I talk too much. Um, anyway, like I was saying, I'm a huge Ghost Adventures fan. Zach Bagans, whoo! He is like the desert, just much hotter, sizzling hot. I met Bobby himself a few times. He is like the nicest man ever. Um, I'm not a big country music fan. I do. Bye for now, my peeps. My phone hates me. Thanks for watching and dealing with my rambling. Happy Monday.